Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Estoing has a jab saw in their kind of pocket knife format. Folding saw, and also has a utility blade. That's not to be mixed up with a job saw. Now this is that, that 4808041. The reason I'm pointing that out, I always get a lot of requests um, about what model this thing is. This is um, the, the job saw with the quick lock blade clamp. It's a discontinued Milwaukee tool. You could actually thread this onto a kind of your standard um, like paint roller um, uh, or tree saw type of thread. But anyway, it uses the Sawzall um, connector right up here so you can easily just slide almost anything that's Sawzall in there and you've got a good solid handle. And it's way more solid than most of the ones that are out now. But anyway, revisit that because I get a lot of requests. But back to the the uh, jab saw. This is a short, very thin, flexible blade. It's kind of interesting that they did that. Um, now, a lot of times these jab saw, traditional ones, have been replaced, you know, with something more like a, a small sawzall like this Milwaukee hacksaw. Uh, love these things. By the way, um, I'll approach it again in another topic, but at what point do you replace the blades? I mean, if they're still sharp, but they're totally worn, some people have said whenever the label comes off, it's time to Time to get rid of it. I don't know. Threw a new one on for the for the video, but that's the one I was using. Anyway, this guy it has the kind of Estwing color branding, the yellow with the or the hard plastic yellow with the kind of light blue uh, or um, softer blue uh, overmold or insert. Uh, Estwing for many of us has been branded on our souls, you know, ever since we were kids, and you know you dream about this particular hatchet you know, the leather handled one. This was a newer one. It's only like 20 years old because it's got the nylon um, scabbard, whereas the original ones got a few of those around or leather. Um, but anyway, back to this guy. What we have is a very short, not too aggressive blade. It's kind of interesting. If you compare that, here's a Klein folding jab saw. You can see the blade the tip angle is sharper, is steeper on the S-Wing, and the teeth are not nearly as thick. Now, that might have to do with uh, the strength of the blade. Again, if you look at that, how flexible that is, it's almost a, a different kind of a tool than the standard jab saw. So here's the, here's the Klein. This is um, what a Lennox looks like. Lennox makes excellent drywall tools. Very, very aggressive on that one. I don't think I've ever used this on drywall. Um, Klein is also, you know, kind of furthering their design um, by stabilizing their handle innovation, but throwing different blades. So here's a Klein insulation um, insulation knife. Mill or uh, S Wing also makes one. Milwaukee does too. Um, kind of interesting. But back to this guy. What we have, the jab saw, and then it's a liner lock design. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt if you're jabbing that into things. We'll try that here in a sec. Um, and it also has a utility knife. And the utility knife is a little tiny bit of that blade, that traditional utility blade that pops out of this fairly thick, stout handle. Now, they've done that with others. Here it is um, on essentially a combination painter tool. I really like this. It's, it's super handy. Um, you know, a little bulky, but I do like that uh, you can stow the blades um, in the handle easily. A lot of people have jab saws just sticking in their, their tool bag or toolbox. And, you know, it's a good way to cut or tear your tool bag and uh, your hand if you happen to grab it wrong. Um, and then they have their traditional kind of almost a buck 110-ish. You know, buck 110 is a type of pocket knife. Um, uh, I don't know, utility utility knife. They sometimes call these folding hunters. I don't think it's a best design for that. But so they're they're kind of selling their brand or their colors and name. Um, come on, camera, it's getting chilly down here uh, to other companies. But back to this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it's functioning here. So I've got a piece of uh, drywall. Um, Let's go ahead and measure it. Oops, turned on one of my guardian angel lights. Turn that off in a moment. Um, I'm going to get to those. Love them. Absolutely love them. So we've got, what do we have, 5 eighths? Is that what that thing originally said? 
you zero it fractions. Yeah, try it on this side here. Five eighths. There we go. Um, this is a little thicker than I'd what I what I'd like to jab through. Uh, it's a pretty stout piece of wood or piece of fire or um, uh, drywall. But anyway, what we're gonna do? Let me go ahead and turn that thing off. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and pop. Oops, wrong one. Pop this guy out. So now what I'm going to do is just stab this into here and see if I can make it through. Um, you can do some side cutting, but in all honesty, this is why we use it. Is you can just, you can just do a plunge cut. Um, but if I'm trying to jab it in, that was a pretty hard jab. Didn't make it through. No. So I might have to work at this to finally, there we go, now I can do some jabbing. So how does that compare with, uh, say, this Klein? Way better. <laughs> uh, you know, the amount of effort to get a blade like that through. So it is a design that is it departs from kind of the traditional jab saw, but here we've got 5 8 heavy duty drywall here, and I am able to get this thing through with a little bit of effort. Um, so there's that. Uh, shape's different, teeth are different. The uh, thickness or thinness is different. So anyway, is it worth it? Well, it is a different kind of tool. It's a real handy tool. So for $17.99, I think it's fun. I think, you know, if you don't have something quite in this space or you just want to do touch-ups or you want to do, uh, you want to avoid using the power tool because of the quantity of dust that it can kick up or the noise, eh, there you go. As long as you don't have a ton of cutting because this, this really uh, makes short order of big jobs. Uh, this seems to be more finer work. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. And with that, Doc out.